So the four designers that you need to know are Harry Beck. <laughs> so Harry Beck was an engineer, he was a teacher, uh, he designed the London Underground schematic map. So he is known as a schematic map uh, maker or topological maps. So something like this where uh, maps can be taken, something as detailed this maps can be taken and broken down and given a sort of schematic look. So it's a map that it has no sort of vast amount of detail on that makes it really really complicated. The next person is Alberto Alessi, uh, he's an industrial product designer, designer famous for making lots of items out of uh, polypropylene and acrylic. Uh, this was a toilet brush that he's got here. Um, really sort of quirky sort of products, part of the Alessi family company that makes lots of industrial products um, and kitchen items. So Jock Kinnear and Mary Calver, very famous typographers. Typographers are people who deal with typefaces and fonts. They are responsible for designing the road system for the UK and for Europe. This font here is known as transport, like we would know, know this as Calibra or Arial. This font here is known as transport, easy to read and very consistent. So Wally Ollins, again a typographer or a logo brand designer, sometimes called a corporate identity designer. Um, he is very famous for designing lots of different logos, the Olympics logo, um, Orange logo, BT, Converse, etc, uh, p &O Ferries. Robert Sabuda, uh, famous for pop-up books and engineering, um, children's books, very complex ones like Alice in Wonderland, Wizard of Oz, etc. Okay, very famous person. Um, let's go through these. Okay, types of production. One-off production, which tends to be a single item. Batch production, which is small quantities, 10 to 100. Okay, you um, match, uh, make changes to the to the next batch. Quite expensive. Match uh, mass production in thousands allows um, no allowance for changes because obviously you're producing so much. Just-in-time production or JIT, like you have JIT revision sessions. Is usually the exactly the right amount is produced exactly right on the time according to the demand, and you only order what you need to bring in. Can be expensive to set up, but very cost effective. A prototype or a mock up is a scale model of the outcome, can be made in different materials. So, you guys made a mock up, quality control, checking at various stages, quality assurance I mean, it's a predetermined list of standards, guarantee the product is good. So, five types of printing methods okay, offset lithography. The run size is thousands to millions, very fast, expensive to, uh, to set up. Print quality is excellent. Uses cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, etched onto a laser plate. Uh, here's a diagram here water, printing plate, ink, blanket cylinder, impression cylinder. Uh, these have to line up. Flexography, again, very common. CMYK, uh, four color process. Uh, tends to be done for things that have got a round surface, 3D surfaces like yogurt pots on the side of a flask or something like that. Um, high volume, expensive to set up, very good print quality. Uh, gravure, which tends to be again CMYK, uh, etched onto a copper or brass plate. This tends to be items that are extremely high quality, like money, like stamps, uh, and in large quantities. So we're talking 500,000 to millions here. Something where the pattern needs to be identical. That's why wallpaper is on there, because it needs to be able to match, be matched up in strips. The lowest form of printing, screen printing, this is done for things like t-shirts, run size tends to be sort of hundreds and thousands, uh, has to have a manual setup, um, you need some kind of template, you need some kind of screen, this could be your t-shirt underneath here, you put the screen over the top, you smear the ink through the template, take it away and you're left with a Z. Okay, digital printing tends to be done in schools, we're talking here about a laser printer with toner um, can be very expensive because you've got to buy the toners um, very good print quality this is a similar sort of printer that you would use in an, in p15 to print out your final work uh, registration marks are the zeros here with a cross through this is where all the cyan magenta yellow and black plates line up if they're slightly offset you'll get a blurred Im image crop marks tend to be on the end of prints this is to show where the printer has to cut and make the cuts and guillotine a chromolin is the original design uh, given by a graphic designer to the printer to check against has the original artwork and colours and a colour chart you can obviously use to match the colours. 
Okay, die cutting, which is quite important. Die cutting is um, some kind of template which is in steel, which is actually uh, presses down onto the card. Um, die cutting can be used for cutting out nets. Sometimes it will have a serrated edge rather than a blade, where instead of cutting through the card, it will actually create a crease of some description. Make sure that you understand what die cutting um, is all about. Let's see if we can. Uh, Okay, so you can see this is a die cutter here. Paper comes in, prints it out, and blocks it out. Okay, same again here. Comes in, this is the die, cuts it out. Sometimes you might have a die cutter that does the folding on the end here. It will crease it, serrate it, crease the edge rather than cut it. Okay, I think we are pretty much uh, packaging symbols you might want to look at. Uh, we looked at these before, handle with care, fragile, keep dry, etc. Recycling. You can pause that and look at those if you want to. There's some different ones here that we can do, keep out of the reach of children. This is to do with uh, wheat intolerance, the British toy toy safety symbol. Sustainable forest. Uh, again, you can pause these and have a look at these and have a go at them yourself. Okay, one of the things that you might want to consider also is this logo here, which is uh, the FSC, which is the Forest Stewardship Council on Packaging. This is to do with uh, making sure that every time a tree is used, a new one is replanted. Okay, and there we go.